good morning good morning um just to speak about the piece that was on my blog yesterday um i said so what i'm planning on doing fingers crossed just something else because i've got time to be starting something else as you know uh these are all going to be the same size just little studies of traditional hand embroidery techniques bringing in my grandmother's flower garden patches that i made that i showed on my blog last week i think um go over there and have a look and um, put in hexagons or whatever search for hexagons or you'll see it anyway it's not that far back if you scroll um so this one it isn't finished what i said on my blog was i'm going to do a little scattering of flowers on it which i'm going to do with you in a minute but i've put the next one together and it's another grandmother's flower garden and these are he individual hexagons and these are going to be made into like flowers so these will be flower heads and then i'll do embroider stems okay and leaves whatever coming down there this is going to be appliqued on vintage handkerchief i've got the card here i just haven't put it on the card yet so it's not going to be that big it'll be put on the card and then put on there um so i've cut that out and this is just a tiny little bit i've got like that little piece there is about an inch and i've got maybe two inches left of that hanky so i'm using it very sparingly and that's probably going to be made into a little pocket so what i'll do with that is i'll attach it around the two heavier embellished sides and then i'll buttonhole the top and leave it open like a little pocket okay so that's for later for a different time and um, not for now so this one i've done a couple of little flowers on it here and i'll do a couple i'll do one with you because i'm conscious the video is going on too long i'm just gonna stand up and try and pull this in a bit right so you can see what's going on hopefully all right so they're here um, I've got my needles ready threaded. I'm using two colours. It's stranded cotton, DMC stranded cotton. So I've got two needles threaded already. So with the first colour, I'm doing three French knots. Okay. One, two, three. And just to repeat, I had a comment off somebody, and I did mention it in a different video last week, saying that you're upside down okay and i must put my camera behind me or above me and i did explain in a video in response to that comment and that person last week that i can't do that i don't have the space my working space is very limited and i've tried and it just doesn't work so i apologize for that um but really now i knew that i'd gone in a knot oh, do you know what it always happens when I'm doing something. Why? Come on. Why or oh, why or oh, why? And it won't come out, so I'm going to have to cut it off and start again. So I will leave that there. This is actually a good opportunity for me to show you what I do in this situation. So that isn't fastened off yet, that bit. So I'll re-thread my needle and put another knot in. It's very annoying when that happens. Um, right, so I've got two French knots, I need three. So if I come up ready to do my third, okay, and then do my third. One, two, three. Go to the back. Okay, now that isn't long enough to fasten off on its own so I will tie in a knot with my working thread that I've got now that I've re-thread my needle does that make sense so that will secure that it's very frustrating when that happens and I do all the right things I separate my strands before I use them then I rejoin them um, but it just sometimes doesn't work out does it so and then I'm doing three lazy daisy stitches okay in the same color pull it in a bit more but i'm conscious of it blurring so lazy daisy stitch that's the first one 
one. Two. They're just little suggestions of little scattered flowers. Um, two. Three. Okay. There. And then I'm fastening that colour off. And just do a little stalk, very simple little stalk with backstitch. Um, just putting a knot in this thread. I'm showing you the back of my work here. Is it a disgrace? It's a disgrace, Karen. Right. So then, come up at the base of the French knots. And just do literally three little back stitches to give a hint of a stem. So that's one, two, three, okay, and then a little French knot at the side so that it's like either a, it's not a petal, is it? It's just a, could be a bud one do one at the other side they don't have to be exactly opposite each other so i'm also thinking as well three so that's there so there so that's an, oh, sorry, another little flower there so i'll fasten that off and now something else i want to do quickly i mean i don't want this video to be like an episode of war and peace um, I'm going to need to re-thread a needle. So if I... Okay. So this bit here, this is an edge of a vintage handkerchief. So I've secured it with bottom hole stitch and French knots here, which is quite obvious and predictable, I guess. But sometimes that's... Well, that works best. Just because it's predictable doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Sometimes the predictable is what fits best in that situation. Um, so I don't beat myself up about that. So I'll separate my strands and then rejoin them. And what I'm going to do is introduce some of this colour that I'm using for these little flowers into this little scrap of vintage cloth, okay? Vintage handkerchief. So I'll just thread my needle. And put a knot in this. And then I'll be good to go. Right, put that off there. Just reach over and put that there. So I'm just going to do some coloured some French knots with these colours I'm using next to the white ones that are already there. So if I do one with that colour, this is a variegated thread this, so it's random the colour that you get when you do a stitch. So and I'll do this all the way along with this one and then the other one I've used I'll also add one in that colour as well. Okay, so that's three French knots. Okay, so a very quick, well I don't know how long it is this video, but just to give you, and I'm going to be disappearing again as well, I've got so much going on honestly, um, probably won't be back until at least Sunday, um, it's frustrating, everything's at the minute, I've just got, I mean it's all good I guess, but this bit of not being able to maintain this is quite frustrating, so that's that ready for the next one. Okay, and I do think it'll draw it all together. And in terms of these flowers, I need to actually, just let me put my needle in here. 
square this off, measure it and mark the outer edges because I want to pull out a bit. Right. So I need to actually square it off, mark the outer edges because I want the flowers to be scattered everywhere so there'll be some over here as well under there and down here and maybe some over here when I've squared it off um, so I might do that and when I've turned the camera off in a second then I've got more idea of where I'm going with these little flowers okay 